What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net and we are inside of Windows 10 and we're actually getting ready to install the Visual Studio Community 2015. Now, whenever you actually go to the uh, website for Visual Studio, it uh, gives you the, only gives you one option and that is to download the internet installation, which is like uh, 400 and something KB in size. However, you can go to this link right here, details, and it gives you an option between the 2.9 megabyte file or you can download the ISO. Simply click on download and then choose this one right here and then click on next and then it will start your download. I'll have this link in the description. Right here, this right here is our ISO. So we're gonna right click on it. We're just gonna choose to open with Windows Explorer. If you do not have any like WinWare or anything like that installed, then you can simply right click and choose mount. However, that option is no longer given to me since I have WinRare installed. So this right here, just gonna click on it and launch it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is that we're going to actually change this right here, this location to my G drive, as you can see right here, my G drive is my web development drive. So anything, any type of programs like that, uh, SQL Server, Visual Studio gets installed inside of my web drive. I'm going to leave this as default. I'm not going to go over to the customization. I'm just going to leave it as default. And then we just want to simply choose to install. We're going to choose yes on that dialog box, just in case you did not see it, just confirming that you want to install the program through Windows. And then after this is done, we will uh, check back. Okay, we are finished with the installation of the Visual Studio Community 2015 edition. And for those that do not know what uh, the community version is, this is the free version. You have to register with your, uh, most likely with your Microsoft account, which uh, we will do that here after we restart the computer. So see you then Okay, we are back online. So let's come over here and we're going to choose our uh, Blend for Visual Studio. That's not what we wanted. So let's expand this out. This is our Visual Studio 2015 Just going to drag it right here and drop it. Drop it right there. Okay, let's go ahead and click on Visual Studio 2015 Okay, so welcome. Connect to all the developer services. Uh, sign in to start using Azure credits. Publish code to a private Git repository. Sync your settings and unlock the IDE. So we're going to go ahead and do that later. So uh, not now, maybe later. So let's go ahead and click here. And uh, I like working in a dark environment. So we're going to choose dark right here. And it's a developer settings general. We're going to go ahead and choose it we want to choose visual basic because that's the language that i usually use and now let's go ahead and start visual studio okay and as you can see we have our visual studio community 2015 open let's go ahead and register it so let's come over here to help see register product right here let's go ahead and click on that See, so Visual Studio will help you plan projects, collaborate with your team, and manage your code online from anywhere. Sign in to start using the Azure Credits Publish Code so uh, you can use the account that you log into Windows with. So the email address that you use to log into Windows is what you will use to sign in to your Visual Studio account here. Or you can use your Hotmail account or your Live.com account. Either one of them will work in this. If you do not have either one of them, then you will have to create an account. Okay, so let's go ahead and sign in. Do you want in on Explorer to remember this password? Uh, no, nah, not really. Considering I no longer use Internet Explorer. And there's my name right there, so it already picked up on everything. Create a Visual Studio Team Service site. So we're gonna do this as, um, And now let's go ahead and choose continue. Let's see, change options. Uh, we're gonna leave that alone. Let's go ahead and choose continue. Okay, create your first team project. Let's do this later. Okay, and we are logged in. This version is licensed to me. It is a free version. I never have to pay for it. However, there are restrictions, as in you cannot use the community version to create software that you're going to sell. 
And so if you're going to create software that you're going to sell, then you need to get the professional version or the enterprise version in order to do that. Other than that, this right here is great for doing presentations, creating lessons like I do online, which is pretty much what I'll do besides working on my own projects, which I don't really make any money off from. So I am Wayne Barron. This is darkeffects.net and we are inside of Visual Studio Community 2015. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.